Hi, my name is Eric, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Kitchen Dev cabinet pricing and ordering software to easily create proposals, follow up with your customers, and simplify ordering with cabinet vendors. First, navigate to Proposals and click on New Proposal. Easily create a new customer on the fly by entering their name. Select a designer and add a project description. Choose lead source whether it's an existing customer, walk-in, referral, or other. Choose the type that describes your customer, homeowner, contractor, or other. Your customer is now created. Click Next. You can also add a version. Give it a name and select a vendor. This helps with creating multi-style orders or simply comparing styles. If you wish, you can choose to upload a Ready 2020 design. Another option is to select a door style manually. Select a date or change the proposal status to track history. Look for cabinet parts by code or by description. Add them to the cart and adjust the quantity you need. Easily switch between styles to compare their prices. The ones with blue backgrounds are the cheapest options. If your customer has a special request, you can add a modification to any specific part. If you want cabinets assembled, click the button to enable, and then you'll be able to set hinge side and exposed sides for parts. Notice the assembly cost is now added. If there's a delivery fee or any other custom charge, add it easily by adding a custom item. To show you how to order more than one style, let's create another proposal version with the same vendor. We'll only pick a different cabinet collection with different parts. Add version name and vendor. Click Next. Add any parts you need by selecting door style first. You can easily switch between different versions, remove the selected version, and edit them if needed. You can send the proposal as an email to the customer, print a proposal, copy parts to the clipboard to paste them into QuickBooks, and search for specific parts, which opens up the full catalog. You can also add or change discounts, if any, as well as adjust the default state tax rate. Now you can save and exit, accept an order, or reject and archive the proposal. If you have a green light from your customer, proceed to order step. You can also save the proposal and come back to it later. After saving it, you'll see one active proposal on the dashboard. There are a few available ways to filter proposals, by customer, by designer, or by the proposal status. You can also revisit the proposal when needed and order it. Simply click on the Accept an Order button. Add any special instructions for the vendor. Add PO number. Now review the cart and remove custom items from the order if needed. These items will still be available in the database as part of the proposal. If you have everything you need, to send the order, simply press the Order button. To easily find a specific order, you can filter orders by customer, designer, status, price, or state. If needed, you can revisit your order, change its status, delivery date, or cabinet's installation date. If your customer is happy with the service, you can send them a promotional email one week after cabinet's installation date to ask for a review. Visit the associated proposal or print the order for the customer signature. After saving all changes, go to the dashboard to see your new active order. Improve and simplify your ordering process with Kitchen Dev cabinet pricing software. Easy to navigate, interactive, and well-organized. This is a solution you can depend on. Contact us today to start your free trial.